What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Chanel with Lizzie's Charm, and if this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for returning. I hope that these messages that you received today um, offer you some insight, some blessing, some guidance, some support. Today, we're talking about Sagittarius season, and for it, um, for those who are looking for services, you can find out all that I offer below at the link. And if you have any questions, you can email me or you can reach out to me through my Instagram, which is down low before, which is down low as well, down there as well. Um, or I think above at the top uh, of my channel, there is a icon for my Instagram and you can click that and go straight to it. All right. So, Today, we're about to get into Sagittarius season, all right? The sun has moved into Sagittarius as of today, um, which is today is November 22nd, all right? November 22nd, I should say, in the Northern Hemisphere, right, um, in America. So if you're watching this in another part of the world, it may be a little different. Maybe um, it might have been yesterday. Uh, right, or tomorrow, right? So it may have been the 21st for you or the 23rd for you, depending on time. Okay, we're not going to get caught up in that. But yes, so Sagittarius is the, um, it's the last fire sign. It is a mutable fire sign. Okay, so it, it brings a lot of change or it, presents the opening for change in places that are not necessarily working anymore at the time, right, where uh, we need to be thinking bigger, okay? If this is not the time to be thinking small, you need to be thinking big, bitch. All right, so with that said, uh, we have Venus in Sagittarius, we have Mercury in Sagittarius, and now we have the Sun in Sagittarius. We're about to have a Sagittarius new moon at one degree tomorrow, right? So uh, one degree is an Aries degree, right? So this is all about the self, all about our own personal truth, the alignment to oneself, right? Um, our personal sense of sovereignty, right? Um, our, what our own personal beliefs are, because Sagittarius is a lot about belief um, and, and feeling optimistic about this. There may be some space, some place where we are needing to extend forgiveness, whether that is with others or simply with ourselves. However, it's showing up for you, you know, be with that. See what that is for you, you know. So along with that, um, Sagittarius, there are a lot of aspects that are happening within this season. So what I share about Sagittarius is not just going to be the only thing that you are experiencing on an astrological level from what I state when it comes to the sun being in Sagittarius out of the fact that it will be connecting with um, with Mars that's in retrograde, uh, with Jupiter that has that is going direct, I believe, tomorrow with the new moon that's in Pisces. Um, it'll also be coming in contact with Neptune, okay? It'll be coming in contact uh, with Aquarius, which will be a sextile. Uh, the Sagittarius, I mean, with Jupiter and Neptune, it'll be squaring. So there'll be some uh, opportunities for growth that may present itself through conflict or tension, right? Um, or it could just be uh, something that presents a hard time that's forcing us to grow out of our comfort zone because, Sagittarius and Pisces are both mutable energies. They they think to um, align to whatever game it is that they're playing, not everybody else's. Right? This may this may create a necessity for us to uh, separate separate whether that is from a job, from some certain particular work, um, like. If there is some type of like spiritual practice it is that we've been having, 
that doesn't serve us that may be coming up needing to separate from that if there is some a teacher or a group some type of collective group that we've been part of or some type of collective um higher knowing maybe some type of belief there may be some separation in because sagittarius and pisces are both very spiritual energies right pisces represents the soul so whatever has been in alignment um, it's going to reveal itself. It's going to be very apparent. Like it's going to come to surface because, um, like this is about what's hidden. And with Jupiter, which is the ruler of Sagittarius, it's also the co ruler of Pisces because Jupiter is the original ruler of Pisces. So it's at home here, but within this square to the sun, to this Venus, to this Mercury, um, our minds gonna be changing, all right? Or we may just be recognizing where we've been playing small. We gonna see seriously where it is that we've been playing small. And it's like, oh, okay, I need to be big, to go bigger here, all right? Because Pisces is also a very big energy. It represents the collective consciousness. It represents the cosmos, right? Um, people always talking about, I always talk about how Aquarius is like. Uh, the sky and everything in it, but um, Aquarius just makes it to heaven, right? <laughs> everything else is above heaven, you know, heaven doesn't exist in the cosmos. All right, we ain't going there. Okay, so it'll also be connecting with, um, what else do we have with Pluto that is in Capricorn? So that'll be like a, a semi-sextile kind of thing going on. Um, so run for growth by doing work, by restructuring, by uh, moving forth on the path differently, uh, thinking differently, right? And then Saturn, which will be in a sextile with, so if this is the same type of energy, you know, benevolence and us really being able to thrive, it'll be connecting with Chiron, which is an Aries. So um, we'll be moving beyond any type of... Uh, will really be illuminating the healing that has taken place from old wounds in regards to our self-identity, how we identify with ourselves, right? What we believe about ourselves, um, how high we carry ourselves or how low, how, where you been. So what else is there? I'm trying to remember off top y'all these planetary uh, placements at this time. All right, then. Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, which is in Taurus, okay, so Uranus in Taurus, I think that is a, a in conjunction, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, so maybe it's a King Kong, how many planets is in between the King Kongs, four or five, uh, how many houses? I can't remember. But those, that's not really going to be affecting us. That's not really that sort of time. That's just what it looks like that. Uh, Uranus being in Taurus. So uh, we can be expecting ourselves, our personal journey, you know, because, you know, that's the place that I like to focus on um, of the self, you know. Uh, and, and bringing change where change is necessary, doing the work where the work is necessary. All right, focusing on the greater good for ourselves and how it is that that implements in the collective, all right, because Saturn is an Aquarius. Aquarius does represent the collective, um, like as a people. We the people is can be, it's a good slogan for Aquarius. Okay, so... Um, there is a lot of, of work to be done. There may be, on the world stage, there may be a lot of diplomatic issues taking place in reference to what it is that the people need and how it is that it may not necessarily be the truth. It may be a tr truth disguised as help when in reality it's something for their own benefit, not necessarily ours, right, which is something we may not see until the long term, right, because it's a path, it's a journey. Um Right, it's something about some big goal it is they have at the end that we won't know until then. Right, so it's really important to know who we are, 
what we stand for, uh, what we believe, what we think, right? Um, who aligns with us, what aligns with us, where are we going, how are we going about it, and all those things. All those things are going, coming up and going on, all the going on, okay? So, you guys, what are we going to do? We're going to pull cards for each element. I'm going to pull a couple of cards for the collective, all right? Um, I don't have no human design for Sagittarius season because then I will have to be talking about the sun moving through multiple gates because it moves every six days. We're not going to impact the heart. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to talk about this collective energy to see what it is that the spirit wants us to know at this time. All right. What messages it is that they want me to give to you all right now. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. There was something that I paused the video for that I was about to do, and I, it totally went out of my head. I guess it wasn't important. So we are going to go ahead and see what it is that. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. I have to figure out what I wanted to focus on with this region. Right, so, first, we are going to do. A collective reading, collective force for Sagittarius. So let me put this down. So if we walk into the solar design, we're going to cover the protection of the body. Clear and inside. Strength. Good children. What is it that you are going to do? No, it's just a few. Allow those watching this to have the sun to know what is for them and what is not. For the collective spirit, for a Sagittarius season, what is here for the collective, for a Sagittarius season? Mm -hmm. Okay. So collectively, we're in this space of knowing that it is time for us to go ahead and make a move, right? Make a step, do something new, right? We are recognizing um, that there is something that God is offering us here, and it has something to do in accordance with what it is that we desire to will into our existence, right? The, the movement, the action, the excitement it is that we want uh, for our world, for our life, Right, what it, how it is that we believe, right, what the truth is, okay, and we seem to be very aware of this, and where it is that we are not aware, um, we are receiving the insight, the messages that this is what it is, right, so um, there are some new things taking place, there are some new steps taking place, there is some new excitement, some uh reinvigoration of our um our health our vitality you know our our connection to our higher selves to our oneness of being you know and being very supported through this by means of our own personal truth right by means of uh, our soul's desires you know what our soul wants for our life um the flow in which it is it's wanting to go okay so along with that this is also we are also receiving a lot of messages like it's really important to um, connect with or practice um, seeing right being the seer seeing things for truth for sure um recognizing what it is that that we are gathering here, I guess is the word to say, and what it is that um, we are learning, okay? So the next part that's coming out here is the Muse of Voices. And the Muse of Voices is basically saying, um, You know what you know, right? 
you you know what you know, you have an understanding, you have this sense of clarity, you know the truth. You know what the truth is for you, you know what the truth is for when it comes to those around you, you know what the truth is when it comes to that, the direction in which it is that you have to go, you have to flow as well. Uh, this is, so news of voices, this is the king of swords, right? So you know it's fair and you know it's not. Um, you know what it is that it takes to, or you know what it requires to um, live your life in a peaceful manner, right? And, and, and you're aware of where justice is needing to be had, needing to be taken. Um, and others may not necessarily know this, right? You are aware of your life, your trek, you also are aware of what is getting on your nerves and you are no longer willing to deal with me, right? And through that, you are, and we are, because this is collective, um, moving forward in a way with this, what's being offered to us, right? It's almost as if, so if I'm, if I'm looking at this from a, like a grand scheme of things. It seems like that uh, we're receiving um, some new something, right? It's, it's giving, being a gift given to us, right? That is going to help us move forward in a more easeful, lighter way. But in a sense, it's like I know that that's not going to work for me. That's that's not it, right? I don't I don't want what you're offering that's not fair somebody's being left out kind of thing this is on a collective scale okay so yeah it's like it's, it's some inner knowing um of what the truth really is versus what someone is trying to tell you what the truth is or um it's like it don't resonate with you right uh, but collectively you know, you know this, and perhaps this may even be something that does resonate with you. It's not going to be the same for everyone, two sides to every coin, right? And in some aspects, there may be some things that work and some things that don't within whatever is being offered, you know, and with that, um, you know, this offering may be bringing an end to something. And it is something that we have clear understanding of what what end is needing to take place so a beginning can come. Okay, so what else is here? What else is there? Okay. Yeah, so her. It's like there's some awareness that there's some trickery going on, right? The magician is coming out. That's very interesting. Um, like that there is something behind the scenes taking place that is not a uh, very, that's not being seen, right? On the other hand, there may be others witnessing, like we may be being seen by other people um, as this magician that we have it all together, have um, the ability to, right? The magician is very ability to, to me, right? Having this connection with spirit um, and we're seeing one another in that way. And but on like an individual level within the collective, there may be some mental constructs that is standing in our way of seeing ourselves in this way. Okay. And, but in reality, it's known. Like it's, it's witnessed, it's seen. It's like it, it's known, but not seen, if that's the right way to put it. Okay. But, with this, that this is something 
this is something that is it's new like it's um it's a learning process right that it's a, a start to something that is ah man Whew, these cards this is very interesting all right that there's a decision that's going to have to be made um in reference to the where we're going how we're allowing things to transpire uh it's something that's going to have to be learned like a, a, a it, this is a learning process right we're in a space of a learning process of um perhaps seeing ourselves as this magician or recognizing that there is some trickery going on, you know, that that all the answers are not there yet. All the understanding is not there yet, okay? Um, we may feel or think that we know everything, but there is something that is, is not fully... Um, that we're not fully aware of in this new beginning, in this new offering that's coming forth and taking place, okay? And there's some learning that's to be done, right? So some teachers may be coming forward, like some, um, or we may be choosing to be the teacher, we, or, you know, students coming forward to learn something, learning how it is that, you know, how are you this magician? How are you doing this? This doesn't seem real kind of thing. Um, but you know that you have this understanding or maybe you think you have this understanding. To me, it feels like that, you know, you have this, you know, you know, you know, you know what is right. You know what is wrong. We know what is right. We know what is wrong. Okay. Um, and on a personal level and utilizing that to manifest our reality, make our reality what it is. And on the outside, it seems like that, wow, they, how, what, look at this magic, right? So this is not, this is not happening. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So if someone is putting out that, oh, I'm doing magic you know, oh, I'm a magician and things like that. This is not them, right? What this magician coming out is saying that to others, it looks like magic. It looks like magic. How did you do that? How are you connected? Who are you working with? How did you make this happen, right? But it's been a learning process, right? You, you learned, we have learned who we are. We've learned the steps it is that we need to take. We've learned how we have to go about um, operating, how we have to go about speaking, how it is that um, much work it is, in a sense, that we have put in into knowing oneself, ourself, to know the truth of the matter of what it is to even be receiving these gifts, to be receiving this um, this new vigorous, uh, forward motion in our life, okay, and at the bottom, we have the nine of inspiration, which is the nine of wands, you know, so what's taking place is that we are leaving behind old, outdated things, okay, and in that, having this understanding, having this clarity, having this knowing, so, okay, my son just came in, He's funny. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like this, this is the truth, right? This is the truth. And it's going to take some time to recognize what that truth is or what it means. But it's all in a process of learning, of learning oneself, of learning the tools in which it is that's needed in order to actually um, to become this, right? To become this. Because the magician is, is of the occult. It's what's hidden. It's not something that's broadcasted or put out there, um, anything like that. It, it's 
is taught in in secret circles, in orders, right? <laughs> in in mystery, okay? And you have that understanding. You know that you know what you know, right? And in that knowing, you have the ability to create miracles. You have the ability to manifest miracles. But that took a sense of undoing that brought and led us to this ace of inspiration, this ace of wands. Right, and we're in this place of um, of really maybe we are feeling like that. Oh, I can take a break, kind of thing, you know. So let's see what other messages do we have there. Do I want to clarify these cards? I want to clarify now. Um, that's another. Let's see. What other messages do we have here? What other messages do we have here for the collective of Sagittarius season? Okay, season for the collective. And that's just the list. Insight, I am the last. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a lot of growth taking place, like, the freshest morning. So this card is kind of this we can call this like a fool's journey. You know, so everything's feeling good, everything's feeling fresh and brand new and you know, it feels light. It it you know, it just feels good, honestly. Um everything smells good, everything looks good, everything tastes good. Okay, the freshest morning is just that. Like the sun has risen. It's the dawn of a new day, of a new, it's like it's, it's a new dawn rising. Okay, and forward movement in a light and effortless way. This is a lot of grace showing up in the places in which um, we have been. It's like there's movement taking place where things have been but we're just at the beginning of it it is the beginning the freshest morning is the beginning it's very full journey right and you have everything it is that uh you need to know in order to get there right it's some growth taking place like old cycles have ended it's not that they're ending they have ended and some people may be stuck out of a uh, out of having this false bravado, this false character, uh, if like this being in this Joker trickster energy, right, and not really, don't really have no no personal principle, don't really have no beliefs that they align to, you know, no real true connection to God, to oneness of self, right, and just kind of having a lot of healing that's needing to take place. Right? Um, I'm hearing Mad King. Yeah. yeah, the desires are here. It feels good to feel good, right? And everything is coming forth in a way that feels good, in a way that um, allows things to flow. Desire is about our will. Okay, so yes, like I was saying, desires have a lot to do with our will, you know, and, act, and moving forward with that, but also having a sense of vision. All right, so we may be, and that's what Sagittarius is really all about, like the vision, the path, where it is that we're going, where we want to go, how we want to go about it. Okay, so um, working with the moon may be beneficial for some people. Um, we will also, I didn't mention at the beginning, we'll also be having a, a Gemini full moon uh, in December. So at that time, there may be some things that uh, maybe some relationships that are needing to be made, maybe some relationships that are needing to be let go of that do not align to what it is that we're desi desiring. But more than anything, this feels like we're really connecting with and coming to um, this space of desires. Again, there may be some people who are, are, are trying to uh, attain something in desire, if what it is that they desire in um, in using a means 
that does not necessarily like they're trying to conjure something up right and because they want to feel good you know but that may not necessarily uh manifest in the way in which it is that they want to because there's no real self-development there's no real there's nothing real backing it up um it's done with with games and smoke, smoke and, and mirrors kind of thing is what I'm getting uh, for those who, you know, because sometimes there are those who are not, not in a space of being very connected, right? And being connected doesn't have anything to do with any type of foods you eat or um, anything like that. It, it's space within oneself that you feel connected to your soul right and, and being able to express yourself in that way that is divine to you right what what is the purpose that God has put you here for what game what role do you play in the game in the grand scheme of things right and being in alignment with that and some people do well in acting like they are but really are not that's also Sagittarius energy all right, because um, it can pro it, it can move forward with a lot of fakery, right? A manipulation of the truth of things, you know. So um, be careful for you know any type of addictive behaviors. Any then when I say addictions, I'm not just talking about regular basic like whatever type of mundane addictions that seem to be a trend kind of thing but pay attention to the small things that you find yourself addicted to you know like maybe it's a way of thinking maybe it's a way of feeling or more so emoting like being constantly wrapped up in something that's not healthy right um and this can even be uh you like a spiritual bypass kind of thing when it comes to addi uh, addiction, it's like having this toxic positivity type of energy and not really dealing with the depth of what is so that you can be that magician, you know? So, let's see. Make sure that you are making plans because that is what a lot of what that page of voices is about, like you're starting somewhere. At the beginning, right? So make a plan. Um, how often do you want to do something? What is it going to take? What is it entail? Does it cost money? And how much is it going to cost, right? Maybe you have to um, some financial acumen. Maybe you need some money to do something. How are you going to get this money to make that happen, right? What? Who do you need to connect with? Things like that. What do you need to read? What needs to be worked on? And how often are you going to do that? What is the personal power for the collective? The personal power for the collective. Be curious, all right? Be open to learning new things. That is what the page of voices is, the page of swords. You know, having, being, it's totally possible to be a teacher and still be curious, you know? We're always learning. We're students of life. Um, be open. You know, have a sense of awe, right? Which is going to require um, un change, a, a change in habits, right? To allow things to come undone from the way in which it is that they have been. What's the self care for the collective? Care for the collective for Sagittarius season. A list. So make a list about yourself. What is it about you that is good, that is great? All right. Why are you awesome? Okay. If you want something in your life, if you desire something of your life, you have to um, be in alignment with that of yourself in your mind. Right. Um, I am this. I am that. I do this well. I do that well. 
right? Even when I'm going through struggles, I know I should survive. I can do because of X, Y, and Z, right? When things get tough, when things get hard, I have the ability to. I am capable of, right? All these things. Who are you? Okay. Tune out negative people and thoughts because we create with our mind. And if you're thinking and you're letting other people influence you, you're letting um, negative thoughts influence you, you got to let that go. You have to grow beyond that to see things differently, to see things clearly of what it is they truly are, right? Really know you. Okay, you guys. So, collective, those are your messages. We are going to get into these elements. We are going to start with fire signs and complete it. Okay, fire signs. So, let's go ahead and get into your reading for Sagittarius season. So, we are going to do body, mind, spirit, the pros and the cons, as I said, for the Sagittarius season. For the element, spirit, and sister. Okay, so fire signs, you have six of materials for the body. So this is doing really good. Like you may be um, getting a lot of help in reference to like, so let's for, say for instance, you have a gym membership or something and you hired a trainer, right? That can be that type of help. Or maybe you are just trying to, um, maybe you're getting into preventative health as well. Uh, things that are in, in connecting with um, physicians, doctors that uh, support you in that way, right? To keep things moving and going in a way of balance, right? So outside of uh, receiving any connection when it comes to that, your health is, is, is fairly stable, you know, is feeling in harmony. Um, you are really in tune with your body's wisdom, right? And that's supporting you in thriving and being able to um, show up, right? And being able to move, to wake up in the morning, to feel good throughout the day as well. All right, this, um, what I'm also getting here is there is something blooming. Like, so perhaps there's something that you've been working on in reference to your health. And with that, it's getting better. Like the fullness is coming forward to that. Like the routines, the rituals it is that you need to support you in that way is taking place at this time. It really, um, it's not the catalyst. It is the getting into the flow of how it is that you are needing to live to operate. Like six of materials is like a, a really perfect, exactly, we're going to call it perfect energy when it comes to um, the body, all right? So let's see what we have for the mind. Four voices. So <laughs> you are in meditation. You are not letting your thoughts run away with you. You're not focused on um, believing something that may not necessarily be true. You're not focused on creating stories. You're not trying to figure nothing out. You're just like, I'm resting. I'm letting, I'm letting the world go along on its way kind of thing, you know. Um, I'm living my life. I'm enjoying this rest, all right. I'm taking care of myself. I'm taking care of my mental health. I sign, these are some really good cards, all right. You are, um, maybe meditation uh, is serving you a lot during this time. You may be even in a space of reflection, right, so that you can, you are seeing how your mind in the past has um, affected your health. And from in that, you are allowing 
things to relax. You are allowing life to life, right? And in the midst, you just chilling. You you're not overthinking nothing, you know. So, spirit for the fire of time. Spirit for the fire. The wheel. Uh, that song, I'm on a new level. I don't know who that's by, but that song just started playing in my mind. All right, so fire signs, you, the wheel is turning for you. You know, um, a lot of opportunities may be coming your way from you being in alignment with your truth. This is a Sagittarius card, the wheel. Okay, so this is some expansion taking place, maybe some full embodiment, some full. Um, Alignment, feeling very spirited, feeling really good. Like, wow, fire sign. Like, Sagittarius season is going to be really phenomenal for you. Okay. You are letting things go for real. Um, it's interesting because this woman at the top here, the top of the wheel, she's looking at, you see her looking at this woman laying here, relaxing, like receiving this energy. Her energy is going out, but it's also coming in. All right. She is relaxing in the cosmic divinity of things and allowing that to come out of her. Right? She is letting um, her inner voice be cultivated. In, in that the will is turning in her favor. Okay, so what is the pro here for fire signs for Sagittarius season? What is the pro here for fire signs for Sagittarius season? So we have the page of inspiration. So whatever it is that um, you are thinking or that you have been feeling that you wanting to start do that go ahead and do that um be excited about it all right <laughs> be open about it tap into that wisdom know that you are protected as you move forward right create what it is that you want to create be as colorful as you desire to be right be you because that's the only way they, they know other way just be you do you what is the con here for? What should they stay away from, avoid in Sagittarius season for the fire? Three cards fell out. I'm not reading the more baby. Okay. The con for fire signs in Sagittarius season. So we have two of emotions here. So with this coming out, um, with it being in like a con energy, like to me, that's like an avoiding. So with that and that coming out after the page of inspiration, it's like avoid not being yourself. Avoid not tapping into the wholeness of you. Um, pay attention to what relationships are not allowing you to be in this space here, right? That it's not allowing you to be connected to your truth as well, okay? There may also be some forgiveness that is um, coming up. It, with it, it's like, a relationships may not be a focus for you like this is not it's interesting because i was hearing forgiveness forgiveness right so forgiveness may be on your mind but that is not what Sagittarius season is necessarily about for you um like uh bringing back old relationships may not be the thing that may not be the route for you at this time um, that may not be that it won't happen necessarily, but at this moment, it's not, that ain't it. That mm, is not your focus. Like, um, if there is an old relationship trying to come back into play in your life, it may or may not serve you, 
right? But in a sense, it feels like that you were just protected from that even taking place. Like there may seem to be things getting in the way of reconnecting. And if there seems to be something getting in the way, know that it's on purpose. It's for a reason. On the other hand, you are also protected uh, when it comes to uh, you feeling like you can't be yourself. That you feeling like you can't um, operate from, again, a space of wholeness, right? This balance, it is that is taking place within who it is that you are that allows you to be excited and invigorated about living your life and who it is that you are. Okay, so what's the advice here for the fire sign? Oh, wow. So the advice here, well, we have justice and empress. So to me, this is saying focus on the beauty Focus on what it is that's in front of you that that exists, right? Um, focus on you. Focus on what you give, what you receive. Focus on the balance and the harmony within relationships in your life. Where that exists, let that continue to grow and blossom. Where that does not exist, you already know what you need to do with that. So with that, with the con energy, so this is more about So it is, so there is some forgiveness that needs to take place. And there may be some relationships that are coming back um, or trying to make its way back and know that you were protected from that which is not you, right? But what what is returning, know that it is true, right? It's blessed. This is a very blessed energy. Okay, but at the same time, um, if there has been like some legal proceedings, um know that there will be success within that right this can even just be a sense of harmony that is desiring to take place justice and the empress that's venus energy all right so this is about your values this is about your self-worth this is about you your ability to receive your ability to rest right rest where you need that all right don't feel like you need to do more right because Everything is already playing playing out. Focus on what is fair and balanced and just for you in your world in your life. Focus on what is beautiful for you in your world in your life. All right, do your best to. Um, so sometimes seeing things in black and white is necessary for whatever circumstance. Know where that is best applied. Right, some and some things. We can't be seeing things in black and white because there are too many moving parts and we have to um, figure out what is what and what needs to what needs to come together and what parts of those moving parts need to go. The wheel of fortune, right? So with this, your freedom, it's like your freedom, your sovereignty is found within the harmony of yourself, right? You're getting... Um, Utilizing the stars are going to be very helpful for you during Sagittarius season. Maybe astrology is something you are wanting or needing to learn at this time uh, to help support you in the steps it is that you're taking, right? So maybe you are needing that as validation and clarification that you're doing the right thing for you, right? Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, learning where these things are taking place in your chart. Maybe you need a solar return chart. Maybe you need a, a horror astrology chart, right? So you can know that what you're doing or what you're trying to, whatever decision it is that you're trying to make is supporting you. Maybe you need to be aware of the perfection year that you're in so that you can know that what, what you're deeply feeling is needing to be focused on is that wholeness, right? All, all the things of you. This is leaving no part out, all right? So let's see, what is the outcome here? What is the outcome here for my fire sign? What's the outcome here for my fire sign? Goodness. Outcome here for my fire sign. The magician. Help me this stuff up. 
All right. With the advice being just justice and the empress and the outcome being the magician, like you gotta trust that you know what you know is that, right? And where you don't know, you can learn. Okay. And the best thing with learning is integrating, living it so that it can be embodied. Granted, that's my opinion because I'm all about embodiment. Um, that's why I take me so long to do stuff because once I learn something, I have to embody it so that I know that where I'm speaking from is a place of truth and experience, right? And then probably share it with a multitude of other people so I can get the information from them on how it worked for them and I can utilize that. Like, it's a whole science experiment for me, all right? <laughs> but for you, know that the outcome is you knowing that you are the magician. It's just having that, that connection, right? That ability to manifest, right? And a magician has a lot to do with desires and also having that confidence and knowing who it is that you are, you know? Can't nobody tell you nothing. We got muse of materials at the bottom. So that is the king of pinnacles. You is manifesting and making it happen, fire signs. All right. People want to know, how did you do that? What were you doing all this time? I haven't seen you in a long time. What you been, what's been going on? How did you make this happen? You ain't telling me everything. But when it comes to matters of magician, of the magician can't tell you everything. You can't tell them everything. They have to learn on their own because it's about the conversation with, with God when it comes to the magician. All right, so let's pull these oracle cards when, for the fire side. So what are the messages do we have? What are the guidance do we have for Sagittarius season for the fire side? innocence right so this is playfulness this is curiosity this is being in a sense of wonder and that truly is what um allows the magician to be the magician right the magician comes right after the fool and the fool is the infinite possibility it's like i don't know what's what going on i don't know where i'm going but here i'm going I'm going here i'm taking what i got and i'm gonna do what i need to do and the magician shows up and was like oh, okay well Here's this, here's some earth, here's some wind, here's some fire, here's some water. Talk to God, connect with God, put these things together, write this down, right? What are you trying to make happen? And with innocence, we can make anything happen truly. You see, kids be manifesting stuff like, like, like that, right? With the quickness, all right? And that's because they don't know anything other than um, they don't know no, right? They don't know um, hurt. They don't know pain in a way, unless they, by some means, grew up from that place. But innocence is untainted. So where are these untainted parts of you that you can connect with to help support you in manifesting, to tapping into that magician energy, to utilizing the tools in which it is that you already have to make things do to make things happen and at the bottom we have dreams so manifesting dreams oh okay fire sign this it feels like a very happy time for you a very feel good kind of energy for you feeling this um Sagittarius season all right, maybe your innocence is being renewed as well. You know, it's like maybe it feels like that the slate is being cleaned. Going back to this very childlike nature. This is here for Sagittarius season. What do the goddesses have for our fire signs? Fearless love, right? So this is all about loving lovers relationships seeing things very true maybe some mirror work is something that will help support you at this time All right so that you can see the truth of you um so you can see the beauty in you so you can see the lush royalness 
of you, okay? This is all about refining something as well, you know, and letting things blossom, letting things bloom. It's a very royal energy for you, fire sign. Wow, this is like amazing. The stars are aligned. Get into that astrology, please, because um, it's going to help support you in the level up. We got level up dreams in the king, in the muse of materials, the king of pinnacles at the bottom. Sheesh. All right. What is the personal power for the fire sign? Okay. I am passionate, all right? You're very sure about what it is that you want. You are willing to be committed and devoted to the venture. I am safe, okay? That's also that innocence, right? Knowing that you are safe, always having that innate sense of safety, right? That everything's okay. Everything's always going to be okay. It's okay for you. It's safe for you to be passionate about your relationships, about your love, about your life, about what you've got, right? Maybe you want to share that with the world. I don't know. Maybe you, you might not be doing much communicating. And if you are, you might not be speaking it out of your mouth. It may be like a written thing. What is the self-care for the fire sign? Self-care for the fire sign. Just the work. So perhaps you want to get into learning about crystals. Maybe you want to go to a metaphysical shop and just pick out some crystals. Feel, see whatever it is that um, resonates with you. Maybe you want to use the crystals that you already have by some means, right, to help you ground yourself because it's a lot of a lot of that passionate energy can get a little uh, unnerving. You know, so definitely um, making sure that you're grounding yourself and connecting with yourself, connecting with your feelings, connecting with your center. Okay, and at the bottom we have tidy up. So maybe you want to do some spiritual cleansing of your home. That might help support you um, in this level up that's taking place. There may be some old energies that's needing to be cleared from your walls, from your floors, from your sheets, from, you know, from your dishes, maybe you want to get some new kitchen appliances, all right? Because it is safe for you to feel safe, and it is safe for you to feel good, all right? It's safe for you to love, it's safe for you to be open, it's safe for you to feel passionate about your desires and your life and what it is that you want, right? It's, even if that's just peace, peace can be enough, all right? You can be passionate about the peace in your life. So do what it is that you, that re, is required, right, for you to have that. Because know that you are protected by your signs. All right. I love y'all. And I will talk to y'all next time. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. And yes, yeah, bye. Hello, Earth signs. All right. I heard that y'all want to go next. So we're about to get into it. This shirt is going to go crazy. Okay, so Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, let's see what messages it is that Spirit has for the Sagittarius season for you all. What is the venture needing to know at this time? What insight or guidance do you require when it comes to the body, mind, and spirit? What you should embrace, what you should avoid. Because that's what we don't change pro and con to break the world. What is the empire for you? For my lovely, great spirit, for some of the Sagittarius season, that's the great season for the earth. That's some nice vibes. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> So we have three of materials and using materials, justice, and ten of emotions. So some good stuff. Manifestation, emotional fulfillment, balance, harmony, peace. All right. And a group that you can work with, a group of people uh, that you can work with in that regard. All right. So 
God thanks mom but the spirit for mm -hmm. earth sign for the body for the messages that we have for the body for the earth mm -hmm. the Sagittarius season okay so we have the lovers for the body maybe um <laughs> Uh, it may be a very intimate time for you when it comes to the body earth signs, right? Or there could be some, um, there may be even be some decisions it is that you're having to make. Um, maybe something in regards to your nervous system. Okay, so there's some balance can come, but it more than anything, it it feels like there's a place of wholeness that you're coming to in reference to your body, to your health, to your wellness, you know, and really, um, I'm hearing the path less traveled, less traveled, less traveled, what is that? The path less traveled, um, and this is bringing you what it is, it's like an assignment that you've been on, in a sense, when it comes to your body and your health, and you you understand it, you figure it out, like it's by way of this you are gaining your wings. That's interesting. Um right, coming in is like a very beautiful time. People may be uh telling you how beautiful you are at this time, really seeing your beauty, um, maybe very into your feminine, right? So um if you're a man, like you may be Focus on like a lot of deep self care, self nurturing by some means, you know, to road less traveled, right? So it may not necessarily, it's not necessarily a thing for men to be seen in when it comes to uh, caring for themselves, like nurturing themselves and um, doing what it is like uh, nourishing the nervous system what I'm hearing. Nour nourishing the nervous system is bringing some type of blossom, some blooming forward for you. Um, you may need to do some foot soaks, some foot baths, uh, maybe taking care of your feet at this time would be very important for you as well. Uh, look to the stars. That's what I'm getting. Look to the stars. There may be some things that um, are needed when it comes to learning about the body. You may be learning some new things about your body, even. You know, maybe you are recognizing that it can function in ways that you were not aware of, okay? Um, there may be some ancestral healing when it comes to your body as well. Perhaps on the maternal side, something that you can, something that comes from the maternal side. Okay, uh, overcoming some huge obstacle that has been uh, deterring your ability to process the progress. Process may be needed to be sure. What's going on with the mind for person? Okay, you got some new things you are ready to create. You may also be recognizing how your mind has been creating some things. All right, you may also be connecting with uh, the understanding it is that you needed to create what it is that you wanted to create, right? And it's a new start. You may be learning how to do this, all right? Um, Really tapping into the the whimsical abilities that the mind holds in able in in your ability to manifest something, but this is by way of God, by way of your truth, right? And really being able to connect with um, your yourself on a higher level, your higher essence, right? You're really excited about this. Like you think about it and it just it, it excites you, right? This may be um happening with relationships even, the lovers coming up with the body, connecting with people kind of thing. 
um, intimacy, uh, things of that matter. Okay, and this may be offering you a real, a place of peace, a place of peace for real, like in going with the flow, um, trusting the process and being able to just uh, connect in a way that you have yet to, right? Maybe this, this, you may be communicating in a way that you have desired to for some time. And although it may be new, it feels like that this has always been part of you. Okay, so what's going on with the spirit for the earth sign? For the earth sign. The first one. Spirit. All right, earth sign. We got the star here for the spirit, right? So this is God consciousness here. Okay, so you are, you know, face to face with God. This is what I'm hearing, face to face with God, you mean with God. Um, it is in your heart, in your spirit, in your being, your truth of being to, in some sense, support others, right? But um, your wishes, your faith, your fulfillment, feeling good, feeling blissful, feeling happy, feeling like, yes. I, my friends, I love them <laughs> kind of thing. Like these groups I'm part of, I love them. This feels right. This feels good. This is, I love this, right? With this, um, with the mind, make sure you're getting grounded because you don't want to start something and then be kind of like off the rails. There's a lot of quick moving energy here. Things are moving very quickly for you in Sagittarius season, right? So it's a lot of mental energy here, the lovers and the star, Gemini and Aquarius. And in here in the middle, what's carrying you is you're literally being carried by your thought processes, very spirited. So aligning your mind with the truth, right? This you uh, is what is going to carry you forward on this path, you know? So... It's important that you know that everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is great. Um, focus on get ground, getting being grounded, getting grounded. It's a lot of up in the air kind of <laughs> nervous energy here taking place. Um, so I know it's cold in some places, but, you know, utilize that cold in a way. Maybe the cold will encourage you to to pause, to stop, like, take your time, right, when things come, write it down, feel good, don't, don't get addicted to the high of feeling good either, as well, you know, so it's really important, it's a lot of high energy here, okay, so be careful with the escapism, be careful with the overdoing it on anything, it doesn't matter what it is. Right, too much of anything can be a bad thing. So let's see, what is the what's in being embraced, what is to be embraced during this that serious season for my first time? What is being embraced here? The Sagittarius season. Six of materials, get be grounded, get grounded, work together. You know, you don't have to do this by yourself. That page of inspiration coming out in the mind, you may be thinking, like, oh, I need to, I'm alone in this. Um, like, don't nobody understand me. Uh, ain't nobody hearing me kind of thing. And it's just like, no, you got people here who are working with you. You got people here who are supporting you. Let the people who you connect with help you ground yourself into all of this information that's coming into with a lot of information here um, that you're coming into. Some of y'all may be giving information, uh, maybe having a lot of students coming forward, right? To because they they want what you have from hearing, they want what you have, they want what you know, they want to know how, right? So get grounded. Take your time, eat well, eat some nourishing foods. Like, I don't know if you eat beef, 
If you do eat beef, that's good for you. Do that. Maybe you just need some warm, nourishing milk. All right. <laughs> um, you know, drinking some nourishing things. If uh, maybe you want to um, make nourishing, rich beverages. If it's tea, like if you're drinking tea, make it nourishing, make it rich, make it grounding. All right. Put some butter in it. Uh, put some cream in it. Um, you know, put some just some milk in it. Maybe you want to add some chocolate to it. Uh, maybe you want to add like some adaptogens to it. Something that's going to help you heal yourself. Ashwagandha, lion's mane, like a powder. Um, any type of medicinal mushroom, right? That's going to help you ground that nervous system energy. Okay. Um, do that. Okay. So let's see. What is to be avoided here? What's to be avoided here? When we're doing the Sagittarius season. What's to be avoided? That's true. This is the art sign. You are, please don't do whatever you think you need to do by yourself. This is five inspiration. Um, so this may even be a subconscious thing. You may be subconsciously in competition. Uh, when it comes to connecting with people, when it comes to doing what it is that you're doing, that may be something that you need to pull yourself up out of. Um, maybe you feel like, oh, I don't need, I don't want to work with other people. I don't need to work with other people. Like, say, for instance, there's somebody who does the same thing as you, and you all of a sudden got some trigger that you need to defend yourself. Recognize that this defense is coming from a place of competition that you are stuck in within yourself. Okay. Also, stay away from people who are always competing. You say you did this, and all of a sudden they're talking about, oh, well, you know, I, I, X, Y, and Z, and it's just like, okay, that's great, but how about you chime in on what I'm sharing with you outside of you feeling like that you need to um, talk about what it was you're doing, unless this is somebody who's sharing that in, in, um, helping you feel understood, right? There's a difference. There's a difference between that type of conversation, right? That type of sharing. Somebody may be sharing something with you out of um, just helping you feel understood, helping you feel seen by way of what it is that you have going on. Like, yeah, girl, I feel you. I didn't X, Y, and Z and not a, well, you know, I did that too. And it's yada 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 this happens to me it's like no one's competing here right? we just can we connect genuinely okay so let's see what's the advice here for my first son yeah, it's not a race on who makes it first right? we all have our own we all have our own things that we have to go through that we have to experience Truly learn to celebrate people. Truly recognize who ain't celebrating you. <laughs> okay? That's it. All right. What's the advice here for my husband? Get out your head. Nine of voices. Nine of voices is the nine of swords. So this is. This can be confusion. This is you being, having your eye closed to what is the truth, what is really going on. Um, these are insurmountable worries that are, um, that don't, that don't serve, right? This is like an irregular kind of energy. This is an energy that's telling you, you need to meditate. You need to stop. You need to pause. You need to see where this is that's coming from, coming within you. No one is. Okay, so five of inspiration as the avoid. Maybe in your mind, in some place, you're feeling like that someone is in competition with you, so you feel like you got to defend yourself, right? Because you're trying to make it to this place. So, I don't know. I don't know your story. This is what we're going with, right? Because that's what's coming up. Excuse me. But you have these worries, these fears that this is not going to work out. I need to do this by myself and this that, and the other. When in reality, like my friend, you are not seeing things clearly, and no one is after you. Um, 
No one is after you. No one is against you. And whoever is, is not around you. These people are not in your life. <laughs> These people, I'm sorry to laugh. It's not. These people are not in your life. Okay. You got to see things very clearly, very correctly. You have to get out of your mind. You got to get out of your head. You got to know. Stop using your, your psychic ability for ways that make you feel less than. That's dangerous and fairly toxic. Okay. Um, you have to, you have to know that everything is going to be okay. Like you got this good, body, mind, but with the mind being a page of inspiration, I get why that can be a thing. Like, oh, I got to defend myself. Oh, I got to protect myself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing like, I just seen, you know, those cats when somebody scared a cat and they jump up real high. That's what I just seen. Like, you got to relax. Everything is okay. Everything is truly okay. It's truly okay. Connect with your spirit so you can see what the truth is, all right? What is the outcome here for the earth sign? It, everything is okay, <laughs> for real. What is the outcome here for the earth sign? What is the outcome for Sagittarius? It's the inspiration, okay? It's the inspiration. It's you on a new path. Things are not what they used to be. Um, you may think they are what they used to be, but they're not. Everything is different. This is a, a new, this is something new that you can be excited about. Like you were being gifted something from God and you're busy um, being in your head about something being what it's not, right? Like, look how she looking. You see this face looking at this nine? of oyster she like no that is beneath me that is beneath me okay it's beneath you earth sign I'm sorry you ain't gotta you ain't gotta do you ain't got the empress at the bottom this is earth energy I mean, it's Libra too um but yeah that nine of voices came out when y'all was weekly last week yeah maybe i want to go watch them i think i can get some advice on this okay but advice for this sagittarius season is the nine of voices get out your head all right see things from a higher perspective that is out of all the cards it's the darkest one you got to get out of this dark place and within being in that dark place you probably need to go within the darkness to see what the light is there see what this really is for you okay it's okay to connect it's okay to work with others it's okay to be happy in connection with others it's okay to believe that people are genuine and that they are who they are at face value that no one is against you okay what what else is here what else would you like us to you know for the Sagittarius no, get out your ego. Deal with your ego. <laughs> elder. So this is the masculine elder. Okay, so um, there may be someone trying to connect with you and helping you see things very clearly. This is most likely a masculine. Because this is the, there is a feminine elder and a masculine elder here. Right, so or what I'm hearing is that you are needing to uh, do get into some ancestral veneration. Like you need to set up an altar, right? And if you have an altar, you probably need to clean it. it you probably need to clear it, bring some smoke into that, right? Um, there may be a spirit trying to come through on a horse. You know, somebody who used to tame horses or work with horses and equestrian. All right, um, or maybe this is someone who is a Sagittarius, okay? This can't just be speaking about the masculine energy that Sagittarius is and really focusing on this ancient truth within you when it comes to your ancestors, right? Maybe there is a masculine elder who is trying to 
who has not died yet, he may be near his death, okay, and trying to share some information. Okay, maybe there is a, a masculine elder that you sat, sat with who did die, who is trying to bring some insight, some guidance, some truth your way. All right. Um, what I do know is it's really important to get into that ancient understanding of everything that is being experienced for you at this time. Maybe there um, has been some conflict within you that has been experienced for a long time within your family line. Uh, and I remember at the beginning I said it was something maternal and perhaps it could be because of this masculine anger. Yeah, because even at the bottom we got he. So this has something to do about your movement, what you're doing. It's your ego. Your ego is getting in the way. Um, it's something old. Something old. Okay, what else? What, what else is this? What else is this? I'm going to see what this elder says. Okay. If you assume that the new is simply because, if you assume that the new is simply because it's new, it's always to be better than the old. Chances are you never know anything valuable. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of new energy here, right? So, Maybe in some aspects you were caught up in doing, like, caught up in some newness. Like, there is, okay, so I'm hearing something about some new age, something. Maybe you are realizing that that has not been in alignment with you. Some new age way of going about things, some new age way of thought. Um, being an elder grandfather sits in his chair peacefully, gazes into the sunset. Spirit shows themselves in the sky, unfolding with the clouds. He has always seen them. Have they always been there? Does he know them well? Elders also represent wisdom, tradition, roots, established strength. So on the dark side of this, it speaks about the patriarchy and overly masculine mindset and leadership is well known in our world. <laughs> All right. The dark side of the leadership, an abuse of power, excess control, secrecy, aggression, dominance, and are situations we have all been living with for quite some time. When this card shows for you, you may be dealing with abusive ancestry or a lack of control in your personal affairs as someone who seems to be exerting control over you. The person being asked about is controlling. You might be controlling and dominating a situation, bad advice or malicious wizardry. In the light, it speaks about good advice from a benevolent benefactor, someone peaceful, wise, and strong. You have more gifts from your family than you realize. Taking a position of wisdom and patience in this situation will benefit you. Asking for advice from a mentor or someone wise will give you the answers you seek or a deeper insight into the situation. Read old books and writing for a, cur a current message for you. You may stumble across relevant information from an older source, the wisdom of the mind. Right. Okay. So I remember in the advice when I was talking about, um, what did I say? Please bring it back to me. I was speaking about how uh, there were some dark thoughts that, you know, may need to be going, may need to go into, right? This is all, again, surrounding ancestry. Something, oh, you utilizing, thank you, thank you, utilizing your psychic ability um, in a negative way, in a way that does not serve you. How you got this, this, this was given to you, you got it honest, okay, you got it honest. So it seems, Earth Signs, that you have found the ability to, found the way out of this. And you, it may be time for you to share this, right? Um, in some form, 
you are the ancient ancestor. You are the elder in the family, right? And it is important for you to share this wisdom with those who you love, right? To help them see the truth of the matter and who you are working with, right? What you are embracing, the give and take. Maybe you are helping someone um, and by and through this, you are sharing this with them. Okay, maybe someone is taking care of you and you're sharing this with them. Okay, maybe you are working with others and y'all are um, figuring this out, right? And seeing the truth of the matter, right? Seeing where things have come from, recognizing the root causes of things, okay? And healing from it. First time, I think you're going to catch this long <laughs> than I expected. So let's see what. Messages through the goddesses for the earth sign for the Sagittarius season. And Sagittarius season is asking you to share your truth, asking you to share your ancient knowledge that you have. Whatever type of uh, new age, whatever that way that you've been going about things, is you're letting that go. You're focusing on the wisdom, the wisdom of the mind. What 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 that psychic do? What what that psychic can you do? Okay. Mm. Yep, you're learning something. Secrets revealed, Queen of Sheba. You don't know what you don't know, so conversations are revealing things to you. All right, it's safe for you to feel, to learn what it is that you don't know that's going to take you being vulnerable. Make it. You're going to have to be willing to share. You're going to have to be willing to take the action. You know, you're going to have to get your ego out of the way. You're feeling like that you, um, some people think that being in your ego is uh, abrasive and aggressive and in your face, but sometimes the ego, the ego will hide out of the fact and become shadow out of the fact that it's afraid, right? That, that can be ego sometimes. What is the personal power here? Personal power. Personal power for Earth signs. I am connected. You are the elder, right? You you are the elder. You you ready? I am ready. You are the elder in this situation. Share what you know. When somebody comes to you, be open to that. Know that you. If you think you don't have the wisdom, you need to know. I have lived many lives. I have been here many times, and the gifts that I have have been passed to me through my family through. They're, they're great and they're, they're not so great. Like if you have it, you know it, it's there. What's the first fear here for the first time? Self care for the first time. Well, self care for magic fairy season. Focus. the smallest thing, all right? Maybe you want to take a lot of pictures during this time. Maybe you want to start recording things and creating a book to give to others to pass down. Maybe you want to um, take record of what you're learning as well to uh, give to others these secrets that you're learning, you know, and really get into that. And then at the bottom, we have treat. So, um, you know, doing some things, eating some things that make you feel good, something to celebrate for real. You know, celebrate yourself, celebrate where you at right now, celebrate where you're going, Earth signs. All right. Love y'all. I will see y'all next time. Happy Sagittarius season and many blessings from this fiery, quick moving energy. All right. Bye for now. What's up, air sign? So we're about to get into your Sagittarius season reading. Let's see what the energy has is holding for you all. Okay. What the hell is the insight from the guidance it is that you are needing at this time to support you guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, air sign. What else is
Look at that. Look at this thing they need to be aware of. Who comes? Who does? Who needs to be aware of? What she needs to be afraid, avoided. What is their advice and outcome? Really, really for the air sign. Air sign for. Much experience is in. Might be feeling a sigh of relief, air sign. Like, not necessarily a finally, but maybe things have been very busy for you in some sense, and um, you are getting a break. But let's see, air sign. So, what's going on with the air signs and their body? Their body. Okay, so we have two of emotions. So um, with this coming out in reference to body, there may be a lot of balance taking place uh, within the self, within the actual body. You know, uh, perhaps you are needing to drink some water, maybe needing to increase that or maybe to balance it out. All right, maybe you, maybe it's possible that it's not that you're let me get my words together. It's possible that you are drinking water, just not enough, right? So um, this can also be speaking about, so if there are anything, if there is anything going on with your body, your health, your wellness, um, it could simply be water, right? So like in, in terms of water weight, right? Um, or needing water, being dehydrated, Okay, it's the winter time, so I know sometimes when it's cold, we don't think about drinking as much water, right? But this is a good time for you to be sure that you are implementing that. Um, this baths may also be a thing, like you may be needing to cleanse your body, right? There may be um, a, a rejuvenation, a refreshment is what I'm getting, so... Um, I'm seeing limes and lemons and oranges and citrusy kind of things and um, adding that in fruit into the water, right? In the event, especially like if you don't, if you're not like a water drinker, like putting a picture, a picture with some fresh water and some fruits and like maybe you want to grind some up and put that in there and add some honey in there, maybe make it sweet, right? There's some sweetness. I'm also, hmm. Maybe you're needing to lay off the sweets a little bit, like sugars, especially if it's artificial processed type of sugar. Um, a break is needing to be taken in reference to that. There's some balance that's needing to be had with that. Um, and if there is something, maybe you are feeling emotional in reference to your body, or perhaps there's something um, there is an imbalance within your body that is affecting your emotions. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the mind, with the mind, or Libra, Libra. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps coming out. Um, for the air sign, the mind of your mind may be balanced, okay? May be very balanced within your mind at this time, not overthinking. Yeah, use of emotions, okay? So this is the king of cups. So with this, this is you being very emotionally mature, right? Um, emotionally stable and sound. Uh, you, oh, okay. So this can also be speaking about your subconscious mind, right? Um, there may be some healing taking place within the mind. And it, this is happening on a subconscious level in the feeling mind, right? Allowing you to really see things new. Um and this may have to do with your relationship, even, you know, um, and how it is that you are showing up. It's like the mind, the mental state is needing some cleansing. It's a lot of water that's coming out for you guys. Like, especially, okay, so say for instance, you're seeing things as a black, seeing things in a, uh, a black or white kind of aspect, right? Um, perhaps it's a needing to clear and cleanse that energy. That may just be naturally happening in some sense. Um, 
may begin to see your relationships in a different way, in a new light, in a more clear, concise way, like in an emotionally mature way, just kind of like, okay, this is what it is, you know, um, Oh, you may also be very, I'm getting like of your intuition is on a new level, is at a high, at a peak, you know, and really being able to, um, okay, so there, okay, so there also may be a lot of intimacy taking place, especially with water coming up in the, in the body and in the mind. Um, a lot of uh, intimate communication, a lot of vulnerability and transparency and being open, you know, and connecting, being connective, okay? Um, you may also be finding very genius ways uh, to utilize, to create, right? Your mind is in a creation mode, okay? And you having... Um, utilizing what it is that you have within, right? And allowing that to support you in that. What's going on with the spirit for the air signs? Y'all, y'all, water signs, this uh, Sagittarius season, very emotional, very loving, okay? Be careful with the any type of immaturity, you know, any type of um, letting your emotions blind you from those visions it is that you're having for needing to make take your time with it. What is the spirit here for the air sign? The hanged you. So on a spirit level, you the your perception is changing. You the spirit is about our truth. It's about um uh who it is that we are right, uh, in a very unchangeable way, very in correlation with the soul, but it's the active principle, right, that that um, gives us that spark that initiates our will, right, and this is, seems to be shifting for you, a lot of water energy, this is the hanged muse, the hangman, okay, <laughs> and so you may be seeing a new um, way or a new perspective, a new um, a new way of identifying with your spirit, with your spirit self, right, with your truth, with um, who it is that you are, okay, and going about this in a different way. This may bring like some type of pause in the sense like all of a sudden realizing that like, oh shit, like I need to be going with the flow of things. I need to be, I need to be taking my time. I have not been listening to my intuition for real. All right. Um, and just seeing things a little bit different because it's your communication is about to change as well. Uh, you maybe become more accepting of certain relationships in some way. Um, because the hang muse, she's looking back at the muse of emotion. Okay, so it's like the evolution, ev elevation of your mind, especially the subconscious mind, is shifting how uh, you connect with with spirit, like with oneness, like your understanding of it and your personal vision, um, and how you're moving forward with that. Um, you may begin to start going about how you exert your will in a different way. You may find new innovative ways to manipulate your reality. And when I say manipulate, I don't mean, mean that in a malicious way, but in a way that um, is for the good of all, everyone involved, okay? So what is to be embraced? This Sagittarius season for an air sign. What's to be embraced here? What air sign? Embrace. Six of emotions. Wow, air signs. Yeah, have a lot of water going on. So um, this to me feels like a return to innocence, a return. Maybe y'all want to go and watch the earth sign 
message because theirs was a lot about innocence. Okay, um, this is uh, you uh, connect reconnecting with that nostalgic place, right? Reconnecting with that inner child. Um, there may be something in reference to your home going on that makes things more um, more loving for the children, perhaps. Um, really focusing on the development, growth, and healing of your own inner child, um, even in some some uh, regard with the children. Um, you may have a new emotion, a new toolbox to utilize to connect, to heal. Um, There's going to be some work that's taking place. Like uh, you're learning something new about yourself. Uh, that is bringing some healing. That's bringing balance. All of this is bringing balance. Embrace the balance. Embrace the harmony. Embrace the harmony in your relationships. Embrace the harmony um, within yourself so that it can it be exemplified within your relationships, right? Allow that healing that's taking place in you to allow you to connect with others in a more innocent way, in a way that is not judgment, right? But in a way that um, you're curious, right? You're willing to know more, like, why? Oh, okay, what else? What else is there kind of thing, you know? So, yeah. It's a lot of good things taking place, like your wishes, um, what you want, what you desire is coming forward for you, what you've been hoping for, what you've been setting your heart on, okay? So what is it to be avoided by the air sign? Air sign. Okay, so we have the awakening here. Mm. You need to make sure you're answering whatever calls it is that you're receiving. Whatever it is that you are supposed to do, whatever it is that you're supposed to say, all right? Um, it's important that you do that, okay? What Recognize what is happening is not a transformation, right? You're not letting something die for something else to be born. You are simply just... Um, allowing you to manifest in a new way that's it right uh granted there may be some things that are being let go within that realm but with awakening coming out in what is to be avoided um it's really important for you to make sure that uh you were doing what it is that's needing to be done it's like don't wait don't hesitate um don't don't sleep on it right because you are really feeling don't lie, don't make this a logical thing. That's not what this is. This is divine. Whatever is taking place, it's a divine happening. Okay, so what's the advice here? That's a lot of cards. Okay, what's the advice here for air sign? Like here, whatever it is. Um, so go where there is happiness, right? Keep the faith, all right? Trust in the process, trust in what it is that's happening. Um, do what is best for all who are involved, right? Everyone who exists the star that's a star card all right so this is about your bliss go where you feel go what feels good right believe that you live in a benevolent universe right and that no matter despite whatever circumstances have been up until this point within whatever situation things can change things can get and will get better will be better okay um again did, did I say that? Making sure that you're doing for what you're, what's taking place for the good of all involved, all right? Um, it's also, all, with that awakening, it's also like avoid duality, right? See things from a whole perspective. 
um, it's not this or that. It everything is right. Yes and okay. Um, let that again. Let that inner child be curious for real. Uh, listen to the messages that is that you are receiving from God. So that you can know and recognize that you're on the right path. Know that you are on the right path. Know that where it is that you're going, what you're wanting, what you're desiring, what is happening, what's taking place is because it should be. It is divine. You are in alignment. Okay. This is also about um, having a clear sense of sight as well. Uh, pay attention to what it is that you're seeing and believe it for what it is. Don't try and make it a story. Don't try and place any judgment upon it. Okay, just accept that things are what they are. And there are some things that just cannot be changed out of the fact that um, there's only so much control that can be had, which is why faith is necessary within the involvement of whatever that may be. So let's see, what is the outcome for my air sign. What is the outcome here? Here for them. Yeah, okay. The outcome is the five materials, right? So this is uh, a change in your personal self worth. Um, a change in what it is that you value and how you value things. Uh, a, a change in valuing how it is that you connect with people, how it is that you love, how you give love. Okay, this is a, um, what I'm getting is like a great awakening <laughs> when it comes to how it is that you value the other, All right? Because it's a lot of other energy here. And at the bottom, we got two of voices. So there's some peace being found in some situation. There's a decision that's being made as well. It's like, which direction are you going to go? Are you going to go here? Are you going to go there? All right. Or are you going to choose the middle? Are you going to let both sides be what they are and go forward and accept and embrace things as they are for what they are? Right. And not try to change anything. Right. Where is it's like a letting go of recognizing that there that you have been in a space of cognitive dissonance with many things, accepting that and um, moving forward with what that acceptance brings, okay? Yeah, it's a new way of going about uh, communicating, um, perceiving, that's interesting. It's like these wishes that are coming true are bringing you, pulling you out of uh, poverty consciousness in all ways, right? Because when something changes in the subconscious mind, it changes overall because things begin to manifest differently. You begin to see things completely differently because it just it, it's not operating in the same way from its root, right? Oh. Your roots are changing. Where you where you have been rooted, where you've been established in, right? You're gaining a lot of wisdom. This Sagittarius season, this is it. Dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. This um, this Sagittarius season at the bottom we got hate. So this is about the direction as well and what you're doing, whatever it is that you've been building upon, um, like the effort that you've been putting forth uh, in your life in whatever way, okay? If you're a man watching this, this just may be talking about you um, and you uh, valuing yourself much more, right? You really... <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. I'm about to say something about the subconscious mind, but that is where dreams take place. Like they really reflect our subconscious energies. That's why they are so healing, you know, because they allow us to see how it is that we're truly seeing something, the perspective in which it is that we're truly seeing something, right? And allows clarity to come forth, but 
our dreams may be very psychic for us. And we may even be we not an air sign, but do have air energy. But um you all may be uh having some give me the words <clears throat> very primitive 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 premonition style dreams, right? That's showing you the future, showing you what's gonna take place, right? You may also um be receiving a lot of answers in your dreams. This can also be speaking simply about the dreams that you have for your life, right? And that being able to be manifested based off of um, you shifting that perspective of who it is that you are, right? And how it is that you need to go about expressing that. And that cleansing that's taking place within you, okay? pull this card off and so I'm just admiring it but there may be something that you may be admiring within yourself within your life something that you've made real something that you've made true right something that you've been able to um it's like you've turned a belief uh or yeah a belief into reality right because uh the subconscious mind is about beliefs is about the beliefs that we've held on to, right? And you're in this space of reconstructing, reconstructing this through the Sagittarius season, allowing you to bring forth that which, what you on a conscious level already see to be possible, see to be true, right? And it's carrying you forward into uh, the unknown, right? So in a sense, uh, this kind of feels like an... Um, being in a space of unknowing this that's a period of season and needing to trust that process as you continue to go forward, right? Because you may be expressing from your heart a lot more than usual. Maybe feeling more open a lot more than usual. Just feeling really childlike for real. All right, children do not hold back about how they feel. What else is here? What do the goddesses say? So we have Gangnam Sarah here, and this is resistance. So that is a shadow. That may be the shadow that you're breaking through, right? All this water energy coming through, cleansing out, and you moving through that, like letting it go, knowing that it's safe, because at the bottom we got liberation, okay? What does this say? I haven't pulled out the book to read any of these goddess cards today, but we are going to read... Um, um, okay she says you are scared that you're going to mess it all up you have stumbled but this is a new day learn to show up for yourself you ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic stop holding back worrying and pretending to seek perfection that will never come when it comes to you stepping into your greatness resistance keeps you stuck resistance blocks growth Creativity and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, or lack of motivation, but there are deeper forces at, at play. You are resisting the force that you really are. And she says, this is me, I show up. This is the real me, I show up. And do not resist your dreams. Do you. Be you. Right? Be vulnerable. Be open. Know that it's safe. Uh, show up as you are. We need your magic in this world. What else is here? What is your son? Personal power. What is the personal power for the fear of sun? We're about to be feel free to do you how you want to be you. What else is here? Your son. I deserve respect, okay? You need to know this throughout this Sagittarius season. As you show up, I am a creator. As you show up and doing what you're going to do, doing you, know as you're doing you that you deserve the respect it is that you are receiving because 
you know, you show up as you are. It is powerful. Maybe this has to do with relationships and um, how it is that you have been operating. Maybe you've been hiding, evidently, because resistance is coming up with the self-care. But you have hair, right? So maybe you are changing your hair this uh, season, the Sagittarius season. Um, maybe you are receiving a lot of downloads, even because our hair is our intent to the divine, right? So um, maybe you're taking a lot of time on your beauty. Maybe you're keeping, if you're a man, maybe you're keeping your hair cut. If you're a woman, um, maybe you do hair. Maybe you do hair really well and um, you have been resisting showing up and doing that. All right. Uh, perhaps you know how to do your own hair, right? And it's time for you to do that. Either way, however it goes, you deserve the respect it is that you are, right, of who it is that you are here, right? And some there may be something in reference to your hair you've even seen. Buy yourself flowers. Give yourself flowers. Okay, air sign. So I love you guys. I hope that these messages um, serve you greatly. And yes, I'll see y'all next time. Bye for now. And last but not least, my water signs. How are you? I hope you're doing well at this time. We're about to get into the Sagittarius energy for you. So let's go ahead and get shuffling. All right, great. Great. Let's we'll get this. Let's come to what this time and ask for insight, guidance, clarity, advice for the water sign for Sagittarius season. What is it that they need to know right now? What messages do we have for them at this time? Which Sagittarius season from our water sign? What messages would you make them to know? What would you like for them to know? In reference to their bottom line and spirit, what they should be embracing and avoiding. Offer them some advice. What is the outcome of it? So let's see what's going on in the wood water signs and in your body. Your body water time. And we have the magician. Okay, so <laughs> whatever it is that's going on, know that you have the ability to create something new. Right? You may be working on your body. Some of y'all like might be doing like some mommy makeover kind of thing. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Um, for others, uh, you may be utilizing the elements to heal, maybe taking a very holistic approach to your life, um, switching up however it is that you've been living, how you've been eating, right? How you've been moving, what you've been drinking and things of that nature. Um, you may be in a place, maybe you may be doing some beauty magic even okay and setting up an altar to your beauty calling in right and using uh attraction spells to bring things in maybe you are utilizing your body as a tool um hearing vanity met metrics okay <laughs> so um things may be coming very easy for you when it comes to your body right whether that is your health or wellness or maybe just the stability the vitality of it, the grounding being grounded um so it is important for you to get grounded right within your body it may be time for you to focus on body wisdom and body embodiment right being fully in your body recognizing um what it is that these feelings you're feeling, what they mean, right? Whether it's pain, maybe it's feeling good, maybe you are uh, needing to allow your body to be your compass at this time, even to lead you true, to guide you forward in the way that you are wanting, because you maybe have started something new. And what I'm getting is a lot of butterflies in the stomach, okay? And needing to, um, 
what's the word, this differentiate between excitement, fear, um, and anxiety. Okay. So that that may be a thing for you at this time. Um, you could also be using some, you know, some art to like when I say art, I mean like the magical workings, like some type of uh, magical right to help you with your health, perhaps. Um, if there's something going on with that and with the magician, feels like that there will be success with that. Okay. Um, and maybe you might be using like a dormant to so like crystals and colors and um, scents, aromas uh, to of your body, like uh, different color lipsticks, you know, um, different color hair, different color, I mean, different hairstyles uh, to help you in manifesting things that you want. If you're not doing that, this is, this is the invitation, okay, to be like, okay, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to utilize that vanity metric, okay? So let's see what's going on with the mind for water signs. What's going on with the mind for water signs? Okay. So with the mind, we have coming out the devil. That's interesting. So there may be something you're fearing here. Something it's something in the subconscious that's needing to be worked out, right? It may be something's clouding your judgment, um, and having you not see something in a way that it actually is. Um, you could also just have money on your mind, manifestation on your mind, materialization on your mind, right? But immediately, what it feels like is there may be like some dark thoughts going on. Um, maybe you're trying to figure yourself out of like a sticky situation, <clears throat> something that you may feel bound to, tied to. You may feel imprisoned in your mind even, right? Um, creating narratives that aren't necessarily the case, aren't necessarily the truth, okay? Um, and this could be about yourself. It could be about your body, <laughs> okay? Um It's like uh, there is some change that's needing to take place in the mind or that is taking place in the mind, okay? Um, like a complete transformation of how it is that uh, you have been going about trying to control things. Maybe you've been trying to control your mind in a sense, but going about it by the in the wrong means. And you are about to come up on something that's going to show you different, a different way um, to actually use your mind, a right way to use your mind, right? Maybe there have been some things there some, that you have not been necessarily aware of, right? That has been tying you up, all right? Manifesting from this really dark subconscious place, right? These undercurrents that tend to like drown you out, right? You consciously thinking wonderful things, great things, and all of a sudden, some it's just some shit happening, you know, and um, that has a lot to do with the devil being in the mind squadrant. Okay, so there is definitely something that's uh, transforming there, something that's being let go of, like this, some, some darkness. Um, maybe there is um, um, give me one second. Okay, so um, this may be something old, right? Something ancient. This may be something that has been structured within you from growing up, like something you witnessed and now that's just how you are. You perceive things in this way kind of thing. Um, um, okay. 
um, it has you perceiving things and like, like you tend to see the negative before you see the positive in things. Um, it's almost like the world has, has played a large, uh, a strong effect on your mind and how you perceive the workings of, like the workings of the world have really tainted you in a sense, in a subconscious space, right? And not really, you haven't really been able to fly free because of this, right? It's been limiting. So, okay, what, what is spirit for water signs, for Sagittarius reason? What's the spirit here? What's in the spirit? Spirit. Okay, Ace of Inspiration. Your spirit is ready for you to start doing stuff differently, for you to be inspired. This is the Ace of Wands. Okay, so for you to get excited again, for you to believe in good that this is that you operate in a benevolent universe, and that um, all right. So, say for instance, you there's been something you've been investing in. Give me a second. Though. I'm sorry. Okay, so say for instance, there's something you've been investing in, right? You've been really trying to accomplish like some new work, some new way of going about doing your work, but it just seems to not be working. That's because your mind is here in this devil energy, okay? Um, uh, it, it's, a, it's a lot of fear. It's mainly fear, right? And these fears may be warranted. There may have been something that happened in the past that, that have you in the space of like, hey, like I didn't experience this before and it didn't turn out well. I'm gonna try this, but <laughs> and you can't be button when you're trying stuff new. Like you have to be open. Um, you have to be open to things taking place in a different way, right? So that is going to require you to uh, figure out what your truth is. What is true for you? What are your gifts? What are you capable of? Do you believe in your gifts? Do you connect with your gifts? Do you trust your gifts? Do you have faith in them? Do you know that it's okay to use your gifts? Okay, do are you excited about life, right? So there, there's that, again, that um, telling the difference in your stomach between excitement, anxiety, and fear, right? So which one is it? It, in, it seems to be fear, and it's based off of the mind. So this magician in the body, right, it's like you are utilizing um, this inner sight to figure out why it is that things have been taking place um, within your material world in the way that they have? And you you know why. It's like you can't, you got to get your mind right. And I say that with the utmost love, like, but you got to get your mind right. You have, you cannot be thinking in a um, false way. You in the business of believing your thoughts, are you willing to question your mind? Are you willing to question the thoughts that come up and be like, why are you here? What is this? Are you true? Is this real? How do I know this real? Do I have proof? Okay, what's the proof? If you don't have proof, then what? So are you going to continue to believe that thing to be true? Can you really be willing to be free in what it is that you want for your life or what you desire? Because this is all about desires. It's about wants. It's about what you um, see fit for your life. What's going on here, water signs? Okay, so let's see what's needing to be embraced here. What is needing to be embraced for the water signs? What's needing to be embraced here? Kind of emotion. You need to embrace emotional fulfillment. You have to know it's okay. Are you afraid to be happy? 
Are you afraid to do what it takes to be happy? Are you afraid to live your life in a way that makes you feel happy? Are you afraid of happiness? Wow. I've been there. I get it. Like, I get that. But this cycle is coming to an end, okay? Um, Okay, so, you know, you cannot afraid, be afraid to be happy. You can't afraid, be afraid to have everything it is that you want to have emotional fulfillment. It feels good. It feels good to feel good. And it's safe for you to feel good. But you have to get beyond this energy here, all right, that is blocking you from tapping in and connecting with feeling good in the way that you want. And so with that, there may be some relationships around you that you may have to protect yourself from. I ain't going to say you got to cut them off, but you definitely got to protect yourself from what's, what's to avoid here. What's being avoided here, which should be avoided here for the water sign so Sagittarius season. Which or of emotion, apathy, right? Um, uninterest, lack of interest. Your lack of interest, your lack of true, pure interest, right? Um, it's blocking. It's like you, you're really in this space of, like you don't see that, it, in a sense, it's almost like you don't see that it's possible that spark is hidden below hidden below everything that's drowning out the truth, right? So um, it's important for you to make sure that you're connecting uh, with your self-awareness, knowing who the fuck it is that you are. Who are you, right? Who are you? Moderation in all things. Maybe you're doing a lot of escapism. Um, you know, maybe you have some addictions that you need to let go of. That can be like watching TV or... You know, I'm not sure what it is for you. Whatever it is, you're going to have to let it go, right? Because it's drowning out your spirit. It's drowning out your ability to hear and see the truth of you, right? See the truth of um, what you want and what it's going to take to actually get there. Like, you may even be doing the wrong thing. <laughs> like, you might be doing the wrong thing because you may be thinking that you're doing this because that's what you think you should be doing. But um, that's not it because it's not, if, if you're doing it, it's not making you happy. Why are you doing it? Why are you, why are you, why are you subjecting yourself to anything that does not bring you joy, that's not bring you fulfillment? Okay, that's why you sit here with your hand on your head, all right, and like this sense of misery, avoid that, do everything, do everything to avoid that, like starve anything that you do that does that, okay, what's the advice here, what's the advice here for one advice here for one Oh, your material yeah so you need to come into the space of receiving you also need to be grounded all right um and be this wisdom bearer that you are all right share this wisdom give it all right and be open to receive like take care of your home take care of your family <laughs> be practical in your approach to things even um Rest when and where you can. Know that you are full beyond measure. All right. Know that it is it's safe to take a break as well. If you do a lot. Um, you need to know your worth. You need to know your value. 
All right, you need to know that you on top of your game. And if you don't believe that, if you believe what, what you're doing is the right thing. Okay, so let's say, for instance, you are doing the right thing. But if you don't believe that you're doing the right thing, then, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Outside of it's okay, like it's fine, everything is fine. You gotta let things run its course, take their take its time, you know. Um, trust the process, have faith, uh, be open again, open to receive, open to connect as well, open to receive wisdom, open to give wisdom. What's the outcome here for the water sign? But what I'm getting a lot of is like you, you gotta rest your mind, ease your mind. Maybe you're focused too much on doing and not enough on the actual gift itself. What's the outcome here for water sign? Water sign. So the outcome is the death card. So you are having a metamorphic take place here during Sagittarius season. You are not coming out the same way you went in, okay? So it, it is, and at the bottom, you got the sun. So you are definitely going to be coming up out of this devil energy in the mind, okay? And letting things transform, letting things change and take place in your reality and how you see it, how you perceive it, and how you go about living your life, right? Because queen of materials is the life of the materialization of the Okay, focus on materializing from a feminine way, from a feminine place of being. What did I speak about the body? Embodiment. So whether you are a masculine, you need to embody that. If you're feminine, you need to embody that. All right, be fully in you. How do you go about that? Who do you need to allow yourself? Who, what you need? I don't know if it's something you need to read. What I know is that you just need to tap in. It's already there. Um, you have in spirit, it was it's an inspiration. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just think something wrong. What else is here for a water sign? And I don't see what the way that goes for one And if there are things that so moth to a flame, like shiny things, like, ooh, let me see. Not this soul. It's more about the self. It's not necessarily about anything outside of you. You will materialize what you desire, what you want by means of um by means of uh, right self-development self-healing self-embodiment what was i saying yep i'm coming into full bloom all right so whatever problems whatever whatever it is that you've been having with you like everything is going to run its course and have you here at the bottom so you will be in this space of um jokefully uh operating in doing what it is that you would want to do what you desire um the the movements the strides that you want to take right there may also be something going on if you have a son even there may be some new things coming up with that as well. That's what's here. What messages do the goddesses have for the weather sign? You are blossoming fully. Okay. Yeah, definitely starting doing something new, new in reference to your worthiness. Okay. Recognize your worth is not in your doing. You are worthy despite whatever you do or don't do, 
I um, you know, because and then at the bottom here we have betrayal. So uh, recognizing there may be have there may have been some betrayal in reference to something you were creating, right? Um, that you were feeling very excited about, and that may be what have you in the space of like seeing things from a very um, from a very negative way, you know, uh, and not feeling worthy. Um, sorry, you may have a lot of messages coming through, and not necessarily from other people, but this this seems like the final inspired messages you know showing you the way right that is that queen of materials right uh, attaining the wisdom from your own sense of self from your own sense of being your own sense of going and doing right and this is going to bring that transformation that you desire okay um but yes it's important for you to see your worthiness know like Go forward wholeheartedly, excitedly, all right? Embrace yourself, embrace your being, embrace your truth, right? Know who you, know who it is that you are. You can lead a nation, all right? By simply showing your value, living and being in your worthiness, okay? <laughs> oh, man, okay. So let's see, where is personal power for water something? Yeah, I trust my intuition. Know your vision. All right, I am a healer. Okay, so love who it is that you are. Be doing what it is that's true to you. Oh, okay, self-care ritual. So, you know, maybe you want to be pulling tarot cards for yourself every day, you know, maybe making a ritual of that, maybe you want to light a candle for yourself every day, maybe um, build you a personal altar for yourself for some healing to take place, especially around your confidence, um, around your soul's connection to yourself, okay? What is it that your soul really trying to create here, out here? Like, you worthy of that. You can do this. You got this, okay? Maybe you want to actually do a ritual. Maybe you want to do some spell work, right? You got the magician in regards to your body. So that might be something that you are needing. Um, it may be needed for you. That may be a thing that's needed to help support you. Maybe you need spirit assistance in that way. And at the bottom, you got dance. So maybe you want to go out. Maybe you want to take a dance class. Um, you know, maybe you just want to. It's at home. I don't know your life. Okay, but what I do know is water signs is that this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful season for you during this Sagittarius season, okay? And you coming into your fullness, your worthiness. You are seeing this truly for what it is, right? Connecting with your gifts uh, and, and, and letting that live through you, all right? water signs so i love you so much i hope that these messages bless you and support you as you go forward through this sagittarius season and i will see you in dr zoom bye